Namaste friends, I'm Ved Nandiyal. If you find my narration slow, please watch the video at 1.25 or 1.5 speed. Last week I saw Shamshera in Amazon Prime. After watching the whole film, I wondered why an experienced film production house like Yashraj Films made so many mistakes. Mistake number one was that there were too many songs and even the songs were not so good. Also today's generation don't appreciate so many songs in a movie. So they could have easily cut down the number of songs henceforth the budget of the film which is believed to be 150 crores. Second mistake was the length of the film. It was too long. In Amazon Prime the duration was around 2 hours 40 minutes. At the same time it was not engaging enough. I got so bored even when I have the option of the fast forward button. If they would have reduced the length of the film by at least 20 minutes, the presentation would have been better. The last and the biggest mistake the filmmakers did was they forgot that the budget of the film is 150 crores. And even to break even, they have to bring in more and more Indians to the theatres irrespective of caste, religion and even region. But the film gave the impression that the British were better than the so-called upper caste people. This topic of upper caste, lower caste can be debated in universities or newsrooms, but not in a commercial film of 150 crores. It doesn't make any business sense. As I have said earlier, more and more Indians should come to the theatres and if you paint many Indians as casteist, why would they watch the film? There should have been at least one so-called upper caste character who was good to Ranbir Kapoor's tribe. The closest one was a banya called Rasho. But even he was giving some casteist remarks like I will not take money from your tribe. In Telugu film Bahubali, even Katappa was so-called lower caste. But Amarendra Bahubali was so good to him and used to call him Mama. In fact, there is a scene where he affectionately orders Katappa to feed him with his own hands. Even in the other Telugu film RRR, both main characters played by Ram Charan and Junior NTR are fighting the British. British are bad people in the film, but there is a British girl who is good to them and have lot of affection for Junior NTR. Again in reality, the great freedom fighter Komaram Bhim, played by Junior NTR, actually fought against the Nizam, but still there was not a single dialogue which was anti-Nizam in the film. Because that would have given the impression that the film is anti-Muslim. On the contrary, he disguises himself as a Muslim. Also, a Muslim family helps him in his cause. The filmmaker of RRR were not fools to include all these things. The filmmakers of Shamshera should have seriously thought about all these points. Thank you.